In this free tutorial from the MacU.com, I'm going to go over how to use the Finder plugin, Total Finder. The Finder provides a way to view and organize the files and folders on your Mac, or any hard drives or disks attached to your computer. Total Finder simply enhances the Finder with a nice selection of handy features. Total Finder is an app, so to launch it for the first time, I'll locate it in my Applications folder and double-click. Not too much happens other than that the Finder restarts and the Finder icon down in the dock changes a bit. Open a Finder window and it looks the same for the most part, but at the top you can see a tab. This is probably Total Finder's main feature. Just like in Safari, Firefox, or most any web browser now, Total Finder supplies the Finder window with tabs. Click this plus icon to create a new one. Or use the keyboard shortcut, Command T. Again, just like using tabs with a web browser. So right now I have three tabs open that are all displaying the content of my Documents folder. I can navigate to any folder I want from within each tab and also adjust the view mode for each one. For the Applications folder, I can switch to Icon View while sticking with Column View for the other tabs. Another great feature of Total Finder is called Dual Mode. With Dual Mode, I can view two separate folders at once in order to move or compare files between each. To activate Dual Mode, type Command U. This can also be done from the View menu here. With Dual Mode activated, I have two tabs that sort of merge together. The second tab also gets its own sidebar on the opposite side of the window. Now I can navigate to two different folders in each tab while being able to see the contents of each. Then I can just drag and drop to move any file or folders. When finished, hit Command U again and the tabs return to normal. Another way to move files with Total Finder is to use Cut and Paste. The standard Mac Finder allows you to copy and paste, which is good for copying files. But if you want to move a file from one folder to another, Cut and Paste is a better option. So if I want to move these three files, I can just select them and then right click. In this menu, I get a Cut, Copy, and Paste option. I'm going to choose Cut, which will cause these files to fade out a bit. Then I'll go to the other folder and either right click on the folder and choose Paste, or just type Command V to place the files. You'll notice they're now gone from my desktop. Total Finder has several options you can control from either the View menu here or from the Total Finder Preference pane, which can be found in the Finder's Preference window here. In the Tweaks tab, I can tell Total Finder to show the Mac system files. This can be useful for troubleshooting, but most of the time you probably don't need this option on. Folders on top will automatically arrange all folders to be placed on top of individual files. Down in the experimental section is where the show, cut, and paste buttons can be turned on and off. I also like to turn on the narrow tabs bar, which just saves a little screen real estate at the top of the finder window. Finally, we're going to take a look at the Visor feature. 
I'll turn on Visor and the Total Finder Preferences. I'm then going to change my Activation Keyboard shortcut to Option-Command-V. Now whenever I type that key combination, a Finder window will slide up from the bottom of my display. I can add tabs and use dual mode just like before. But when I click into a different window or app, the Finder window slides down and out of view. For it to return, I have to use my keyboard shortcut, or click on the Finder icon in the dock, or open a folder on my desktop. If you don't want the Finder to disappear when you click into a different app, just click on this blue button here in the upper left. This will pin the visor. I can also set this from the View menu, or with the keyboard shortcut Shift-Command-P. I'm going to deactivate the visor feature and then go up to the Total Finder menu bar icon. From here I can get to the Total Finder preferences, check for updates, restart to the standard finder, or uninstall Total Finder. If I choose Restart Finder, I get the original Finder icon back and Total Finder's features are gone. To get them back, just launch Total Finder from the Applications folder again. So that is a quick tutorial on Total Finder. I've personally been using Total Finder on my iMac for a couple months now, and I haven't had any issues or crashes with it. The features it adds have saved me a bunch of time and opening of extra windows. You can download a 14-day free trial at the web address on your screen or just Google Total Finder and it will be the first result. Thanks for watching.